This is Mo. And Mo here helps Dave. Did you get the spin? <laughs> Dave is looking for these guys, sage grouse. And yeah, Dave, I did get the spin. Whoa, whoa! And why that spin is important is because that's kind of why Mo is even out here in the first place. He's here to find the birds for Dave. Dogs cover lots of ground. They have very good noses. They often know more about what's going on on that landscape than, than I do. In fact, often, if I'm walking through the sagebrush alone without a dog, I feel a little naked, for lack of a better word. By using Mo and working alongside fellow researcher Eric Thacker and Ozzy, as well as with the help of students and their dogs, Dave and Eric are helping to track the populations and habitat of sage grouse around northern Utah. When that dog smells a bird, they go on point. They stop and we go in and we flush that bird. And when we flush that bird, we will count how many birds we flush. We classify how many adults we see and how many chicks we see. And then if possible, we categorize them based on, on sex. Sage grouse are important to track because they sort of act as indicators of how the whole ecosystem is doing overall. That doesn't mean sage grouse populations can't go down and up. That's normal. It's the long-term trend that tells us how things are going in the sagebrush. But Dave's students also look at other species that rely on or live around the sagebrush too, like birds, some of which are declining. These are among the fastest declining birds in North America, even though right now they're not up for listing. The fact that they're declining really quickly means they could be candidates for listing sometime in the future. And studying them and understanding their ecology now before that decision is made gives us a much better chance to protect them. Okay, so we've got the birds pretty well covered, but Eric here also works with Dave to study how we can still use sagebrush landscapes for things like grazing, but keep the birds happy. We want to make sure that through our research and extension efforts, we're able to give land managers and wildlife managers good information from our research, good data, so that they can make informed decisions to make sure that our efforts to conserve sage grouse into the future are successful so that we're able to continue the compatible uses that occur on our public land. 